Comet C-2017 K2 has entered the inner solar system, and now's a great time to look for it. The comet's closest approach to Earth will be on July 14, 2022, but a supermoon on July 13 will brighten the sky. So get out your telescope now while moonlight is negligible and skies are dark. Astronomers first spotted the comet in 2017 using the PanSTARRS survey instrument in Hawaii. At the time, they said it was the farthest active inbound comet they'd yet seen. It was between the orbits of Saturn and Uranus when they first saw it. Now it's in the inner solar system, with closest approach to Earth on July 14. The comet will be closest to the Sun several months later, on December 19, 2022. With a small telescope, you should be able to spot the comet throughout the summer. Comets are mostly rock and ice. They become active when warmed by the Sun. However, this comet was already active in 2017. The Hubble Space Telescope took an image of the comet looking like a fuzzy snowball while it was still in the outer solar system. The comet appears to have a large nucleus, and it shows a huge cometary atmosphere or coma. If the name Comet PanSTARRS rings a bell, that's because there are many of them. PanSTARRS is a sky survey that is particularly good at spotting new asteroids, comets, supernovae, and the like. This is Comet C-2017-K2. At its discovery, K2 was 1.49 billion miles from the Sun, 16 times farther away than the Earth is from the Sun. Initial observations from the Canada, France, Hawaii telescope suggest a nucleus with a diameter of about 18 to 100 miles. But observations with the Hubble Space Telescope indicate the nucleus should be smaller, at some 11 miles or less. If the name K2 reminds you of the second largest mountain on Earth, also named K2, keep in mind that the mountain is 28,251 feet tall. If you like the video then don't forget to subscribe Hex Star Universe for more space science videos and visit our website for more space talks, project internships and events. See you in the next video.